Hello, this is Solar PV TV from Renewable Energy India, once again from uh, New Delhi and now Greater Noida. Uh, we are now with uh, Sunil who is working for uh, Banara Solar. So how are you? I'm very well and it's a privilege to be here at the REI Expo. Uh, I've been here for the last seven years and uh, this time I see you know newer areas focus, you know, focus on uh, quality, focus on asset management. You know, these are the areas where the focus have not been in the, in the yester years. So Sunil, uh, you were mentioning that uh, one of your top projects within uh, Benara Solar was uh, electrification of uh, 60 schools, yes? Can you tell me uh, more about this project? I'll come. So, so ben at Benara Solar, uh, we have, uh, you know, we are into rooftop, we are into solar home lighting systems, uh, we are also into solar water pumping, and uh, one of our recent projects uh, is a solar rooftop uh, atop 60 primary schools in Delhi. And all these primary schools uh, belong to South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Uh, the projects are now commissioned uh, with a CUF of uh, more than 15% and a performance ratio of uh, 75%. So uh, the financing comes from the local government, yes? So basically we have sold the systems uh, to the South Delhi Municipal Corporation and uh, the financing comes from the, uh, from the municipal body of the government. Okay, so and what is the size of the, you know, like an average system for the school? So it's a 2.5 megawatt uh, solar project and uh, spread across 55 to 60 school buildings. And uh, one rooftop is about uh, 40 to 50 kilowatts. And uh, is it uh, necessary for the school to have such a big system? Uh, so if you see uh, the school buildings, you know, uh, they have a power requirement of 5 to 10 kilowatts uh, for each building. We have provided them with a system of 40 to 50 kilowatts, and the result, all these, uh, all these systems are net metered. So as a result, uh, the schools utilize their 5 to 10 percent, and the rest of the power is net metered, and it is sent back into the grid. So this way is not only the, the solar rooftop system meets the requirement of the school, but also it's a revenue generation for them. Ah, okay. So uh, will you also extend this uh, kind of projects uh, to other? schools to other cities to other uh, regions in india yeah definitely we would like to extend uh, these projects to uh, to other cities uh, we are in talks with uh, several other municipal corporation of several other states and uh, solar rooftop solar over schools is also an educative thing for this uh, for the school students uh, you know uh, the school students can themselves you know it's a subject for them to study so they can themselves go to the roofs with their, with their, with their teachers uh, you know, they can study what is the effect of generation, what is the effect of tilt, what is the effect of sunlight in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, so that way. And we'll definitely extend it and we want to cover more and more schools. In fact, uh, in the Delhi, uh, where we have commissioned about 60 schools, uh, we have, uh, you know, we can extend about 50% capacity. So we would, in a very short span of time, we would be covering about 90 to 100 schools in Delhi. Okay, and what about uh, other activities of Banara Solar? So uh, you were mentioning you are like an EPC, yes, but also you are IPP, uh, you are uh, having your own projects or you are just, you know, selling to other comp uh, companies? We are an EPC player, we are also a developer and uh, we are presently developing about uh, 50 megawatts of uh, open access projects and uh, which are phased into three parts, you know, a 15 megawatt phase one, 15 megawatt and another 20 megawatt. So the first uh, megawatt is under design and engineering stage. Uh, which will be commissioned uh, in uh, in the states of uh, Madhya Pradesh as well as Maharashtra. And um, you are part of uh, Benara Group, yes? Yeah, and uh, you told me that it's a quite a big company, yes? Benara Group is uh, one of the second largest uh, automobiles group in India. Uh, we are a manufacturer of uh, bearings and pistons. It is an Agra-based group uh, in the business about uh, four to five decades. And uh, we are also, till recently, we were also the, uh, you know, the sole uh, marketing uh, for uh, Mahale, which is, which is a German company. And, uh, and we, have a, we have a presence all over India. So which makes it an ideal uh, for uh, the solar water, uh, solar water pumping systems as well as for solar rooftops because our uh, BD team and marketing team is spread all over India. How do you see uh, the growth of the, of the company? What are, what are your targets, let's say short term, long term? Uh, see, this year uh, we want to make an investment, uh, in, so in the next coming three years we would want to make an investment of over 200 crores uh, in the solar rooftop area and an investment of about uh, little more than 600 crores in the next three years uh, in module manufacturing. How do you see, uh, you know, this 
realization of the government target of 100 gigawatt? 100 gigawatt, uh, see, is basically divided into two. You know, one is 60, 60 megawatt uh, for the larger scale projects and uh, 40 megawatts for the rooftop. So for the larger scale projects, uh, from now, the run rate required is about uh, 17 megawatts per year. And for the rooftop, uh, we have just, uh, for the rooftop, we have just commissioned over a gigawatt in India. Rooftop in India is at a slower process because rooftop is essentially into, you know, three domains. One is one is the C&I customer, then second is the rooftop, and uh, the third one is uh, the commercial areas. So in India, the slowest uh, segment is the rooftop. And the reason is because the subsidy. So if the, uh, the government makes, uh, you know, a feed-in tariff about a mandatory tariff of, let's say, about 15 rupees this year, then 14 rupees the second year, 13 rupees the third year. And for five years, let's say, you know, the tariff drops down to about 10 rupees. By the next five years, all of this 40 gigawatt rooftop would have been installed. And then we can come down to our, uh, you know, the, uh, the price of about, let's say, four to five rupees a rooftop. So the point I'm trying to mention is the government needs to take certain steps. Uh, it's an alarming rate uh, where uh, you know, the rooftop is not progressing at a rate where it should, uh, where it would have been. So you think that uh, your company can have great place uh, on the solar market in India, yes? Yeah, definitely. We would want to have uh, in the next three years, our target is to be one of the major players in India, not only in terms of uh, solar rooftop, uh, but as well as uh, utility projects and uh, open access projects, and also solar water pumping system, etc. And model manufacturing. Yeah, model manufacturing also. Okay, so I wish you all the best and uh, let's uh, meet next year and let's see if you are keeping your promise. Thank you very much, Thomas. Thank you so much. So that was Solar PVTV together with uh, Sunil, who is working for Banana Solar, uh, one of the, let's say, most ambitious companies uh, in the country. Thanks for watching.